everybody. This is Donna Miller with Miller Crafts and today we're going to be learning how to use the foil coil. So I have a Cricut Air 2 and the C is the one that you would use for Cricut because Cricut begins with a C and so does the C on there. So you're going to take this in here and it actually screws in. So you're going to need to screw that in. Then you're going to put it into your adapter holder. You just press that in. I'm just checking it, making sure that it doesn't wiggle. And then you're going to put this little foot underneath of it. And just let that place under there so that when this heats up, it's not touching the plastic of your machine. And you can see with mine right here, like all of the gunk and stuff, my machine is very old. So I'm not worried if this, you know, damages my machine. It just gives me an excuse to go out and get a Cricut maker. So I'm not worried about that. I'm going to plug this in and we're going to wait five minutes, which I'm not going to make you watch that, but we'll wait five minutes and then we will do our first test cut. Okay, so it has been five minutes and this is heated up now. I am using this foil quill paper pack, which I don't know why, but in my head I had that this was a six by six and it's actually four by six. So I am a little concerned about the sides, having enough so like room on the sides for mine, because I made it to be um, three and three fourths by five, and that one going across the top is four, so that is going to be cutting it really close. So we'll, we'll see how this turns out. I'm, I don't know, I might have to go back out to the store and get different size product. All right, I'm using, this is going to be the paper I'm using. It's by Copic because I'm hoping to actually, you know, color this with alcohol markers. So this is a really thin paper. So honestly, if I had to do it over again, I probably wouldn't buy this because this is literally feels like copy paper and it's super thin, but I think it'll be okay for my card. So this is just my test run. We'll see how this goes. So I'm going to take this out right here and take out that metal. I'm going to insert my mat. Pressing the go button on there and we'll see how this goes. So right now it's telling me to insert the pin, which I already have that in. And it should be going. So we'll just wait and see what we get here. It sounds really funny in the middle of it. I don't know if you can hear it on camera, but it almost sounds like it's almost wants to rip or something, but it looks like it's doing an okay job. All right, so we are done cutting. So what I'm going to do is take out the mat, and then I'm going to put that silver thing back in there, and I'm gonna hit the button to make it go in the middle, because I couldn't reach it right there. So I'm gonna put that back underneath of there so that that tip's not gonna touch that plastic, which if you look underneath, I can see a huge gap, so I don't know. I didn't think it would get that hot, but maybe it does. And then I'm going to unplug it. So I would think that should be your first thing to do as soon as you're done. And then we'll peel this off and see what we've got. Oh, wow. So I finally got this loose off of there. And looking at this, I'm really pleased with these results. It looks really, really good. So I don't I hope you can see all of that. This was using the medium tip. I wonder what it would look like on the bold tip. The only thing I'm really seeing is right here. I don't know if that's just the cut file I used. This was just an image off of Cricut Design Space. It was a free one. But this is the only part that I'm seeing right here, which I'm not even concerned about that. This to me looks really good. And the shine is right there. So I think this looks excellent. Now I want to compare that. I tried foiling before and I got this crafters companion kit for Christmas and it's just little stickers that you kind of put on and I, I used these earlier so that's why you can see there's holes and stuff but you peel this off and you paste it on your um, paper and you put this on top of it and then you're supposed to press really hard on it with like a popsicle stick or something like that. 
And this was the results I was getting with that. And I was just really disappointed when I got that because you can barely see the Merry Christmas. The only part that looks halfway decent is this CH and R. The rest of it, I don't know if the glue on the kit I bought was old or what, but when I compare this with what the foil quill just did, I am definitely pleased with the foil quill. So foil quill, I give it two thumbs up. I would definitely go get this. I bought mine at AC Moore. So go out there and get you your foil quill. You will not be disappointed with these results. This looks fantastic. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this.